Yeah! Hey everybody, it's the program! Uh, we're on TV once again. Once a day, every day. Turn on the machines. And... Live! Forever! Yeah, here we go. Hi. 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 Ooh. How are you? Oh yeah, that's that mic is quiet. You know, I couldn't uh, get all these mics going. Hasn't been a lot of people in here recently. I don't even know where, where that mic is going to. Yeah, where is it? Keep going. Yeah, I haven't found it. Oh, oh, is that one? Oh, oh that's another mic. There's, that one's plugged in somewhere, though. Is that one? Well, it's that's, working. That's pretty cool. It's working with the effect. It's like a booster effect, pretty much, right now. I like it. Yeah, how are you? Well, there. Pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks for having us on. It's uh, Monday. We're back here on the couch. Oh, you want to see? This is what I've been doing recently. Looking at uh, last week. Four, three, two. Let's see what we were doing last week. Yeah. It's this. Ooh, this one's working. There, now we all got mics. Sweet. All right. Yeah! Hey, everybody, it's the program. Oh, hi. Hey. Here we are hey, on old TV. Kenny. Last week. Uh, once again, hey, once last week day. was death week. This week is Turn spaghetti on. week. On. I can dig spaghetti week. Oh, yeah. They go uh, and together. Live. Death, it's death week and then spaghetti Whoa. week this week. We What's are? the correlation? A scary place. It's just we were doing uh, we were doing scary. the weeks like a long time ago. We were doing every week was a, a theme week, and then we dropped them all. But the only ones we kept were death week and then spaghetti week, and they went next to each other. And that was years ago. And now over the years, they're just. They just are connected now. Oh, okay. Bringing, getting right. ourselves in death week. Mmm. Right. Oh. Yeah. That thing's not rewinded right. I didn't check. Oh, wait. Keep talking. Oh, which one? Oh, this is mine. Uh. Yeah. There it is, right? Oh. Oh, nope. Maybe it's a mic coming in and out. Uh oh. Oh, uh, which one is it? Is it this one? Wait, try now. Okay. Oh, there we go. Did gotcha. Okay, right. You know what? I think I turned it off on accident. Oh, okay. Well, that would make sense then. How are you? When was the last time you were on the program? Together, the last yeah. time, so yeah. it was like a year, two, two, two years, years ago, almost now. Wow, really? 2017. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Um, a bad one to ask about years. I thought it was 2014 or 16 the other year, like earlier the other day. I could lose track super bad of years. Right. Yeah, years are hard. It's uh, the going by. I looked up the episode that you were on when you call or you emailed like uh, a month ago, right? Yeah. And then I went and looked up the episode because I couldn't remember who you were. So I was looking at that, and then I, I did ended up seeing that one of the messages of the future. And we could probably find it again Ooh. if I wanted to, but I don't got to remember what day it was. Uh, well, what, what have you been for two years? Uh, well, I ended up moving to California for a while. Uh -huh. and just riding and working. And then 
ended up coming up here. And it's been super nice. I've been here for a month. Uh, okay. And now you, did you uh, email us right when you got back? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Mm. Like, before I came here, probably like like a week and a half probably before, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. And now you're back, so you're back on the program? It's Yep. That was like the first good. thing that she wanted to do. Like, we got to go back on the program. Yep. Yeah, that's and, good. And dance, holy dance. Yeah. yeah. Did you do that last week? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I got the, I got to be the DJ, so it was super fun. Do you have a um, no, DJ I just, thing? No, I just played just songs. You know, I, didn't, I didn't like scratch, you know, like put much artistry or anything into it. Just yeah. played a straight set, you know, but we uh, brought in a disco ball and stuff. Oh yeah, and we brought in our own speakers, so we had it nice and loud. You still have that? What is it? A shop or something? Uh, the shop. Yeah, no, actually, it's been renovated into uh, a house, so like my folks live in the shop. Oh. Yeah. But luckily, uh, the old man kept the equipment, so you know it's it's still available. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was pretty stoked. He came and helped us set up and stuff, and wanted to come and uh, you know see see how it goes, how it went. And uh, when he came, when we got underway, he didn't really feel like dancing or whatever. And uh, so uh, the crew like pulled him into the room and let him sit there and watch how they how they produce the show live. Oh yeah, yeah, it blew his mind. Your dad was that dance only dance. Yeah, yeah, mm. so they let him yeah. sit in the booth with them the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. He do some of the, the, the thing? I, I don't know if they let him monkey with the controls or not. Yeah. He didn't indicate whether or not they let him mess with it, so I would assume not. Yeah. He was super pumped, though. Hmm. I thought you went to, like, Arizona or something, or? Yeah, I lived in Arizona for, like, a while. And, uh, but I'm happy I'm out of there. <laughs> Too hot. Yeah. Do you remember what day you were on there? I think it must be on this other tape. Um, it was a week before the Mother's Day. It was on a Sunday. I remember that. What day is Mother's Day? Um, I have Uh-oh. no clue. Uh, May? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was May. I think it was not too far into this one. Yeah, May 12th. So we can uh, probably find it up here. Let's see this the last time you were here and the messages to the future and see what you had to say to yourself and, the, and then. You, uh, oh, you, yeah, you asked me if I saw anything on the street. You've been watching the show? I haven't been catching it lately. You must know. You know what to say, though. You were watching before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is April of 2017, so I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. So I think it's gonna be about a month after this one. Should be around that time. I looked it up. I think I was able to, uh, like, just Google, Google it. I figured it out. You can put the days on there. I used to be, or I started putting the days on these messages, but now, like back then, I wasn't always doing it, and I'm still looking at them though. Yeah. So, still using these old tapes. Does it get pretty complicated keeping track of everything that you do, like all the, you know, old stuff on and new stuff, messages to the future, and like all that stuff? Does it get pretty complicated to keep it all, keep track of everything? Yeah. It gets complicated, and the oh, oh, that's only three days in. Well, that's April 23rd. We still need to go into May. Uh, so you're back here from California. Where in California was it? Uh, right outside of Sacramento. Like uh, it's called Woodland. It's like this tiny little farm community. It's in the middle. Yep. Is right there in the center. Mountains? Yeah. The Vacaville Mountains were like 30 minutes west of me, and then. Oh. I was pretty close to everything. That was a short siren. It sounds like somebody getting pulled over, like right there, probably. Mm-hmm. It's not one of the longer ones. You'll probably see it. You still uh, mountain boarding? Yep, definitely still mountain boarding. 
ended up uh, coming here last summer and ended up winning the competition at Crystal Mountain here, so it was pretty cool. You won the whole thing? Yeah, I won the whole thing. At uh, how many? Uh, what was there? Eight nine had, riders? I thought it was ten. The ten? Something, something like, like ten, that. Ten or mm. something like that. Not that. Not a lot. Not, a know, not too amount. many. But it was awesome though. We got to Crystal let us ride on the mountain, and so day one we took the gondola. Oh, there you are. Up to the top. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. We're all young. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, we got to shred at Crystal, it was fun, and, and uh, Jen took first, and I took second with a broken collar. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's us of the past. Hey. Oh. Uh, remember when you were young? Yeah. Yeah. We're pretty young right now. Huh. Yeah. This is crazy now. Life was right? easy. There, it's uh, Alex and, what's your name, Joseph. Joseph. He's a pro skateboarder. Mountain boy. Whoa, you're a pro? He yeah. gets mad if you call him that. <laughs> All right, so bye, bye. Hey. Oh, you don't like being called a pro? Not skateboarding. Oh, uh, or what, mountain? Oh, yeah, that's all I was saying. Yeah. Don't, I almost said longboarder yesterday. <laughs> I, was, I, was I know it's incredibly confusing. Right. Though. Yeah, I was saying, Alex, don't call me a longboarder, or don't call me a skateboarder, the longboarder. You, <laughs> you can call me a butt boarder if you want, yeah. though. I I said, and then I said, hey, it's Alex, don't call me a skateboarder, the longboarder. And then you said, Mount, mountain boarder. <laughs> like, oh, I, still getting around. I choose to self identify as a butt boarder. Yeah. <laughs> Like I'm getting them all mixed up. The some it's like a special kind of board. Do you do you not skateboard? No, like, we ever? skate. Too. Yeah, okay. But you're not a professional skateboarder. No, not, not professional. by any stretch of the imagination. So it's like better better at mountain boarding. Yeah, that's kind of just our thing, and we just ran with it. <laughs> yeah. So you you two are the best mountain boarders in at least the area. Like right, you're number one and two. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, um, maybe. There's if there's anyone out there who's better than us, then we should probably be riding together, so. Yeah, come on. Do they know you? The people? Uh, you know? I don't know. They're like, here's, here, here they come. Pro. They're pros. Something like that. Yeah, we dig it. Oh, shit. Hey, I got something for you. Got a couple stickers for you. Oh, stickers, huh? Yeah. Okay. There's a less bitching, more boarding sticker. Nice. The Shred Life sticker. Yeah. So Freddy is going to be here with uh, uh, maybe spaghetti. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Excellent. So that was the plan. I know he was here before because of the, uh, the garbage. So we left oh. some evidence. We would call him and see what's going on. <laughs> This is his natural habitat in here. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it was Mexican food. Did you eat, uh... Did you eat breakfast? I didn't eat breakfast. No. I did. What'd you eat for breakfast? I had quiche. Oh. There were many frozen quiches. Yeah. So, they were okay. Costco? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Where do they, where that? Costco. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Think so. Yeah, probably. I got those things. <laughs> a lot of old people shop at Costco. True. What? What is that? Uh, were they your, your parents? No, my grandparents foisted them on me. They thought uh, they were gross, and so my grandpa was like, "Oh yeah, here you'll eat anything." <laughs> oh yeah. You know that whole game. Yeah. His old food. That's a like grocery outlet. It's not old food. It's just old person food. Yeah. <laughs> Unwanted food, though. They're not bad. Yeah, they're okay. I like them. Hey, you've reached Freddy Dobo. I, I can't, can't come to the phone right. now. Hey, we hey. we just did back. reach Freddy. Wow. <laughs> Dude, say something to yourself. Hey, Freddy, it's uh, the program. Uh, you should give us a call back here. We're, it's Spaghetti Week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wow, look at that. I was saying, I didn't eat breakfast. We're talking about quiche. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know which ones work. Or no, no, that one doesn't work for sure. There should be more. No, maybe this one. Because there's only one XLR, but you got to find that other XLR, like the other green XLR, the end of it somewhere. Um, I. Yeah, we're gonna be doing. Maybe we're gonna 
fix all these wires because we don't know where anything is. So we're going to move all this stuff around. Or we're going to get shorter XLRs. It's a uh, pretty crazy. Oh, oh, maybe it's this. Oh yeah. Is it? You find it? Oh, it's already there's already a mic in there too. <laughs> it's like way stuck in there. Oh, I've been sitting on it for a while. <laughs> I think this one. I think this mic might be better. Oh. This? Oh no, that's working fine. This is one of the ones I got from the Amazon thing. Oh yeah, it's shoved the cheap. The cheap one. Way back in there. Um, this one's from the Goodwill. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Authentic well, Goodwill we merchandise. Never, we never took off the sticker, huh? Nope. Um, do you guys want some spaghetti? Yeah. Yes, please. I want spaghetti. Little, where's the little, uh, here, this thing. Is this still plugged in somewhere? Nope. No? It's, uh, I, I was, I was oh. trying to plug it in. I was trying to find this, uh, open RCA cable, but I couldn't find it. That's, uh, we're going to do that maybe when mm -hmm. we fix all this stuff. But you could look for one, yeah. Maybe there's more than one hand in here. Yeah, I've been uh, in the past couple of years, even maybe not watching so much in the last year, or I've been so busy. Yeah, yeah everybody's so busy. Maybe it's the world, but it's been uh, less. It's it's been like more of this up here. You see, this stuff is what the show has become. A lot of this, like uh, five layers of myself talking to myself. See? Yeah. Sugar and eggs. Sugar and eggs, mm -hmm. huh? Okay. See, which week is even talking? You don't even know. <laughs> but we know that last week was death week because of that color. But that's the only week it's going to stick out. Maybe we can get some spaghetti effects going. But I don't know what that is. Some spaghettification. Spaghettification. <laughs> Are you uh, ever, like, fell down the hill? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. You ever is it like it's like snowboarding, pretty but, much, but yeah. uh, with wheels, right? It's like in the same spot as you go snowboarding. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so we go up to the resorts in the summertime. You take the um, uh, ski lift. Yeah, so at Crystal they let us rip the gondola, which was so fun, which takes you up to the very top of the hill, and then it took us like all day as a big group to ride down and hike and have fun. Is it? Really dark looking. But you can also ride them around town too. Like all of the local parks are good. Like the Pre Priest Point Park, AKA the Priest, is the premier park around town mm. to ride, in, where's, my, in my opinion. Where's the hill there? Uh, I, I mean, either side of the, the park, how it's on both sides of that road, either, yeah. either side there's pretty decent stuff to ride. You just like cross trails and cross like campsites and you can ride on the road and back off the road and stuff so you ride, you ride down the hill into the road though no but i mean like oh. you know there's like the road that like the loop road there yeah. so yeah. yeah so you can like go on and back off and pretty much it you know you can pick your lines and go all over the place it's it's hard to open yeah. how is what anchor it here yeah how is how did that happen is this a tight lid just looks like the, the suction from the heat is keeping it down. Um, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I think this lid doesn't isn't quite the right lid. I was like, wow, it fits perfectly. It like seals too, on there. Too, too perfect. Perfectly. Yeah. I I maybe the heat ex yeah expanded everything too. Yeah. Maybe. It's probably a slight thing. I think it's mostly the lid, right? It's got to be a um, I think mechanical. More than the suction kind of thing, like it's just like yeah. the lid. Try cussing at it. <laughs> I hope this isn't a disaster. This is uh, could be like you're op trying to open it up too hard, but remember it's full spaghetti. <laughs> oh, no. oh wow! Where's the other cam? Oh, you got the other camera pretty well set up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the spaghetti! Oh, here. Where's it? We'll keep this going. Trying to see this. This is. The most excitement we've had in a long time. Oh. Almost. Showed who's boss, Freddy. You're gonna get it. When was the last time you ate spaghetti? Uh, a couple days ago. Yep. <laughs> you live together? Yeah. Uh, um. Whoa. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. That's right. uh, 
um, each other through mountain boarding from before, right? Yeah, we yeah. met in Kansas, actually. Wow. Yeah, that's a weird story. I know, right? Because yeah. Kansas is flat and weird. Yeah. And it kind of sucks over there. So anyone from Kansas, your state sucks. <laughs> what? But you should stay there and not move to Washington. What were you doing? But no, just kidding. Just kidding. I love everybody. But no, yeah, so there was a competition there and we met there. Why? Yeah, there's a competition in, in Kansas with no... Yeah, it was like in this uh, in this big field, and they just like really made a like a pretty nice course that was easy enough to to you know keep speed in, and there was like jumps and stuff. Yeah, I guess and, it's uh, been built so there for like a while. They call it they call it mountain boarding, nice. but is it primarily not to be disparaging hill boarding? Yeah, off road boarding or all terrain boarding, I guess would be the probably most. You know, like the yeah. term, term. There's there's different disciplines in it, like how they do with mountain biking. Right. So there's Thank stuff you, like downhill. There's freestyle, uh, and there's also like racing and stuff too that looks kind of like a motocross track. And it's on dirt. Mostly? Yeah, yeah. Um, they have they just started um, doing some stuff on like the asphalt version of the BMX tracks, but that's oh, all in good. the UK right now. You ever gone up there? No, not yet. The only place I've been out of country was Mexico a couple times. They got mountain boarding in Mexico? Yes, they do. There's a, a really good scene down there. Shout out to those guys. And so no more sh no more shop, but are you still running some kind of some kind of thing? Yeah, I've got the the online store. Mhm. Mm and then just like uh, you know, we'll be like doing We'll be running around at like Arts Walk with stuff and you know, maybe even getting a table. Coming up. That, yeah, it's coming up soon. I know I met, we missed, I missed the cutoff to like sign up to do it properly. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably just like freestyle a backpack of stuff or whatever. Yeah, just get a spot on the street. Huh? Yeah, just walk around or something. And then, but at, at one of the later like little city festivals that uh, uh, there's a, still a couple of them that registration is still open. So yeah. if, if I could swing it, it would be really fun to do it proper. Be able to see everybody in the city, you know, and try to hawk them some stuff. Try to swindle them. <laughs> swindle them into buying some cool stuff. Yeah. You ever, uh, have you ever rolled down the mountain? Yes. Yes, we have. Um, which I probably asked you last time. I bet, I bet if we go back and watch the episode from 2017, I'm asking you like the exact same stuff. I'm going to try to sit on the couch here. Let's see. But I don't remember. I don't remember that time. Freddie, you weren't here. Me again. I was here? You weren't You weren't here. Oh, I didn't think so. I yeah. Remember that. What do you think about mountain boarding? Or do you have any what do you have questions about mountain boarding? So... Do most of the people who mountain board also like uh, ski, maybe, or snowboard in the like so in the winter, and then they're like not down with the mountain, and so they just keep on going up the same one? Seems like a lot of that, yeah. Mm, someone's getting called in the past. Hey, Kenny. Hey, how are ya? Good. Spaghetti. This is really good spaghetti. It is super good. Okay. Yeah. Is that is that is that all you? I made it. Yeah, I made spaghetti this, today. Mm -hmm. Is that cucumber or zucchini? It's zucchini. It's really good. Yeah, zucchini. I've got local ground beef that I found at the at this place. Mmm, local. Um, and it was still frozen when I was trying to make it, so it came out extra, like, tiny bits, I guess, mm -hmm. which I kind of like in spaghetti. You either go, like, the like spaghetti meat mush, or you do the meatballs, and I guess I like well, mush. Balls them up. Um, the mush is good. Every time I get meatballs, I'm trying to chop them up anyways. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Now we're all eating. Yeah. But I do this, so I gotta talk and eat at the same time. You gotta taste, you know, a couple words, a yeah. bites, two. I did never, I never did try the thing, the mountain boarding. I did a little bit of skateboarding a long time ago. Skateboarding is like dangerous. Is it less meant to get involved, like to like try it out, you know? 
free. Yep, free. That's free. Yeah, yeah we, we have, have all the stuff. Just hang out with us. Yeah, we do yeah. learn to rides. We're doing learn to rides uh, the second Friday of every month, starting May. Mm. You think it's uh, less dangerous than? Oh yeah, it's a lot less. A lot right. less dangerous. Because yeah. of the ground. Well, just starting out, like you yeah. got you got bindings, and you know, and you're kind of like off road. So if you if you every little time you fall, it's not pavement, you know. Yeah. yeah. So while you while you learn, it's a little bit friendlier. And you have more control too. You don't have to worry about just flying off because you're on the board. You're like stuck on the board, huh? Yeah. Um, the, you can either be fully strapped in where you have uh, your heels binded in like a snowboard, or you can have uh, free-footed where you don't have that. And it just kind of depends on where you're riding or what you kind of do. What do you um, What do you do? I actually ride with both depending on where I'm at. If we're riding trails and stuff like that, I'm usually riding with heel straps just because it's safer. And then when we're doing skate parks and tricks and stuff, I ride without them just so I can push. Have you seen that pump track that for mountain bikes that the city put in? Oh, yeah. I've been staring at that thing. Have you guys ridden that on the mountain board, or is that even Oh, not an yet. Option? Oh, it's an option. I see a lot of people, like, all different types of wheel uh oh. Are you still there? Season. What? That thing? Yeah, I think it's seasonal, so... Yeah. My guess is it's, like, for the whole spring or something. Oh, really I better go check it out. Summer. Yeah, I read online that they're going to switch it between that and the ice rink. Oh. Uh, this one's better because you don't have to pay for it, I guess. Yeah. The ice rink is kind of a, you know, it seems like a money grab or something. Mm -hmm. But the pump track seems like it's just open for anybody, which is really cool. Yeah, I like that they're letting everybody use it, too, because a lot of times they build these things, and they, it's like bikes only. Yeah. Which I don't know. I don't, I've seen less bikes than anything else, I think. I see a lot of skateboarders there, which yeah. is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, we have a problem when it says bikes only, you know? It's, like, nice when there's a trail that is nice to ride on, but it says, like, uh, like mixed use. Mm, what's because then they can't hate on us, you know, like, you, you know, most, actually most mountain, we don't get a lot of flack usually, unless we're riding on like hiking trails and there's like people walking around and, you know, sometimes it, you know, you can come up to some danger on that, you know, conceivably, of course. Right. But like we usually like mountain bikers, um, you know, when we're out there riding on their trails and stuff, they're really cool, you know, and we're not really hurting the trails. You know, some people have a conception that because we have four little tires that were going to be harder on the trails. And we're really not. I mean, not not too much harder on the trails, I would say, than a mountain bike, you know? seems like it's, uh, you know, the mountain bike is right in the very middle, and your wheels are kind of, like, on the outside of the track, so anything would make it slightly more, less redded, you know, like not more, less redded than, like, only bikes. Like, kind of even things out. Yeah, yeah. They're, like, they're, like, 15 inches wide or, like, something like that, like, a foot, foot wide or something, something foot wide. Yeah. Are the wheels bigger too? They're eight two inches. In, they're two inches wide and eight inches tall. With a four inch rim in the center. Eight inches tall? Wow. Yeah. Those are tall. Yeah, they go all the way up to ten. Wait, what's that? What? Is that me from the past? That is no, Kayla. It's Kayla. We're wearing the same shirt. Yeah. That was confusing. Red shirts. Yeah. I'm uh I'm wearing, that's me though, I'm wearing the same thing probably. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I have an all black hat though instead of this hat. Uh, yeah, you can have jacket. more, there's plenty more. Grab some more. I made it and I, we don't really have a fridge here and I don't know how I'm gonna, <laughs> what I'm gonna do. Oh right, yeah, we gotta eat it all. <laughs> so please, yeah, don't hold back. We had a fridge before but it, it got, uh, it went away. Didn't we, die? We put it, and it didn't die. We, we, I thought like, I had a theory that it was, Causing this room to be really hot in the summer, but uh, I don't know. If it, what do you think? You think it was because of that fridge, or I don't know. it could it could have contributed? Yeah, definitely. But I think we took that out of the fridge. I didn't really notice that much of a difference. I think it's just like we're like up against the sun side of the building or something, which is coming back up pretty soon. I'm already. I, I I've been trying it's to warm in here already. Yeah. How um, do you like the the new view of that building over there going in? Oh uh, yeah, I've been noticing it being built. I don't know where it's gonna be. 
apartment? Yeah, outside camera. We can watch it every day, check on its progress. It's probably going to get crazy pretty fast now. It's, all, it's about eight stories tall. Yeah. Whoa. I'm watching them build. I feel like I'm watching myself be gentrified. <laughs> yeah. Don't let them push you out. Yeah. Dude, is it going to be more of like the retirement community apartments, or do you think it's going to be like regular apartments? Hard to say. They got mixed use on the bottom though, so there's gonna be like stores or something. Uh -huh, really okay. More stores. Or more empty storefronts. I heard some like commercial on the radio. Um, I was probably from that radio station right over there. KGY. Mix ninety six. It was. Um, oh. I don't know what it is. Yeah, whatever it is, they're Which advertising one? downtown in general. <laughs> And there, and there's like some song. There's a cool dumb downtown Olympia. It's like you can buy things. I don't know. There's like who? Downtown Olympia. I wouldn't go down there unless I wanted to get stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're trying to get people to be scared of downtown. Again. If it hasn't yeah. rained in a couple of days, it starts to smell like human waste. Get out of here. <laughs> Even if it has rained, it's just human waste all the time. It's either piss and rain or it smells like piss. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice place to live but only if you're from here because if you move here it can be a little hard on you and to adjust you're from super here hard. Oh, oh yeah i'm like the sixth generation of my family to be born like in olympia wow yeah they, they so stuck. it's kind of it's it runs in in my blood i'm like from here from here you know <laughs> How many, I mean, that seems like too many generations for this place to even ex have existed. Yeah, no, it was like uh, 1850, like three or something that, that the old man came came over here. And then it was like, yeah, he was one of the early settlers, though. Yeah, that's got to be before they were like incorporated or something. It was before statehood. Yeah, oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, so... Uh, he built, you know, help help build some stuff around like downtown, and help build the first bridge from Tumwater to Olympia. Well, what was his name? Conrad Schneider. <laughs> Schneider, wait, that sounds familiar from that reading about those. Things. Mein Grossvater. Wow, yeah, he came from cool. Germany as a brick mason to build the Dungeness Lighthouse, uh, and then so they, he and his wife, like homesteaded. They like came up and stayed with the Bush family like oh, the, yeah. the on bush, bush right on the bush prairie yeah. and then they ended up taking a piece of property and homesteading and settling it like and it's off west bay drive so uh where like tugboat annie's is at and like where west bay drive like splits and one side goes up the hill on like old maps there's like says like schneider this and schneider that up there schneider's prairie and creek and all that stuff Whoa. well appar apparently that was like that whole area was the the original homestead. Wow! Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, so it's been out and, and looked at, or what's on there? Is there any like is there any? Uh, uh, I don't think there's too. There? No, there's not too much evidence like of the 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 OG inhabitants, you know, left or anything. And it, uh, you know, I don't think any of, any of the family people own any of it anymore. But um, a, one cool story though is that like. But, well, one of the only cool stories that I know is that so he, uh, you know, settled over there and then they were building Olympia, like putting it together and figuring everything out. And he had some deep water waterfront and tried to donate to uh, some to the city so that they could put a port in on like deeper water than where they oh, yeah. ha have it now, which is like they're always having a problem with it because it's it all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. So he tried to he tried to donate some of his waterfront to it for free, and uh, the bridge people, and that's how it was explained to me with the like quote the bridge people, uh, threw a fit and didn't and blocked it and wanted to have it where it's at right what? there, yeah. And so that's he insane. and so he was like, okay, so you want it you want it that way, and he got mad and didn't ever come back to Olympia again. Yeah, he just like like made a little store and called it Schneiderville. And when he wanted to hang out with somebody, he would just row across and hang out with old man Woodard, like Woodard Bay Woodard, okay, cool. and just like just like turned his back on the city that turned his back on him. Wow. Yeah. I don't want my 
my free land. Yeah, man. yeah, dude. That's insulting. Though, it is. Like, yeah, totally insulting. Oh, and those yeah. bridge people were idiots too, because like the first thing that Olympia did when it went in was like one of the first things was put the Fourth Avenue bridge in. You know. Yeah. But they didn't build a drawbridge, and so it blocked the brewery from like their cargo coming in and out. So they literally, so the brewery sued the city and won. Wow. Oh man, yeah, and so yeah, so early Olympia has some kind of funny uh, history stories to it. Wait, I wonder when was that lawsuit? Because that's funny to even imagine what I'm thinking of of like early settling time. I wonder what time that happened. Because lawsuits seem like such a like modern concept almost. It's not. There's no. It's not at all. It's not. It's not a modern thing. Well, because I mean, anytime you have a corporation, you know, you like call your, you know, call yourself an idea or you know, operate as a business, you know, right. yeah. then then something has to be like pre- pres- president over that, over all the transactions. That's true. So they had to destroy the bridge. Yeah. So they. So I guess what happened was so they went to court and they, the the brewery won. Leopold Schmidt the owner of the original Olympia, the founder, won in court, and they had to turn. So they spent all of the money on built, putting in the bridge. Then they had to come back, retrofit it to turn it into a drawbridge, which didn't ever work right. And so... The, yeah, it sounds like government, all right. <laughs> yeah, and so eventually, like, eventually Prohibition came, and I think, I don't know how this story ended up concluding or what, what the end of the details was, but uh, any more than that. Well... At least the bridge, like the one that was before this bridge, and this bridge could not accommodate like a large boat, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if that has something to do with why the Olympia Brewing Company eventually moved to, uh, where is that, uh, that like, main beer place? Or oh, Milwaukee? Place? Yeah, Milwaukee, you know? Well, they built the train. I know that they all that beer went on the train oh, for a yeah. long time because there's those, those uh, train tracks go right by there. And yeah. there's like a whole train station there, basically. So I guess they switched eventually to trains instead of boats. Yeah, that train line that goes from like uh, up around from like Tacoma, all the way down and connected uh, somewhere down around like Tenino or Centralia, originally. And it was like bypassing the Olympia area, even though Olympia was the capital. It was pretty small and kind of insignificant for, you know, like moving the needs of moving goods. Yeah. So what happened was the people at Tumwater, like the citizens, pooled all their money together and built a narrow narrow gauge railway from the brewery clear down to Tenino. Wow. Yeah. I so, didn't really realize, I've heard that story, but the connection to the brewery, I was not, I didn't know that much about, you know. Well, there was a lumber mill and stuff like on the falls too. Oh, yeah. But, but yeah, so when the plan came from you know i don't know the interior or the train department or i don't know anyways that it was going to bypass it the people at tumwater you know put their money where their mouth was and got out there and made built it themselves wow that's cool yeah i've seen pictures of the or i don't know if it's photos or drawings or something them, like all the citizens of Olympia getting out and like building the grid or the railroad together pretty cool yeah they're always trying to redo that brewery too i heard more rumors about the recent stuff they're trying to do with it yeah there's there's a lot going on or, well there's a lot there's not a whole lot going on they they put up some emergency uh, you know they like tried to address how it was just crumbling and so they you know put up some temporary stuff so that they can then go ahead and do more permanent fixes the but, mic. Whoa. but the funding the funding is getting held up they're having trouble getting this, some state funding. All right, let's take a look at some of the stuff. We're looking at 2016 and 17 and 18. Here's what we were doing in 2016. What were we doing in 2016? It's Carl. All right, so I'm Mr. Hitchin. Hello. Hello. Hey, it's Bird. Is that yesterday? This is yesterday. We talked to Freddy. It's the daytime. Just a kindness though, right? friendship. Yeah. No, it's two days. That's oh. six or eight. It's eight? Oh, oh yeah, it's eight today. Is that an eight or is that a six? Oh. Eight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Carl's having a good time. Yeah, that crazy Carl laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I saw him on the bus yesterday. Oh, yeah? How's he doing? 
He's uh, cleaning up the city. He's on the, what's it called? The superhero? Yeah, he, he's a superhero. He's like the street team. The clean team? Clean team. Oh, that's good. He's a regular hero. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the message from the past. Hi, 2018. So 2017. Those guys go around and yeah. take care uh, of the really yucky home. stuff. Mr. Gintz is on yeah. the phone? Yep. He's oh, been punching stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, punching stuff, huh? He's like the cousin for a minute. Mm. Uh, also in the pocket dial. Oh yeah, Carl. Motherfucker, yellow phone. And Carl has some critiques of yesterday, <laughs> even though he got really mad at his father for giving any critiques at all. But he's got critiques. Uh, it's okay. I, I took my stuff down. What stuff? Uh, dance, holy dance. It's no more. But it lives on for the future. Some other dance or dance. It's you still know. around. Yeah. You took your stuff down. Yeah. 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 What? Oh yeah, hey, Carl like flyers for his hands on him. Yeah. Bye. I didn't go to that one, but I watched it. It was pretty wild. He made some of his own music and played it. Yeah, that was good. Uh, that was 17, next is 18, and then we're going to record a message to the future for ourselves, too. A new one. We'll probably call Mr. Gensu if we wanted to. Yeah, oh my god, call him. Alright. That dude's my hero. He's my spirit animal. Uh, it's a da- oh, yeah, da- dangerous hero. He's your uncle? No, this guy. Oh. Hey, future. It's us, the past. Hi. You're in the past. How are you doing, future? Real good. What are you- hey, hey uh, future, if you take enough LSD, your offspring will have telepathic powers. Really? What do you like to say, Dad? <laughs> Is that true? I, I, I haven't heard that before. I haven't heard that before. <laughs> it's spaghetti weekend. Do you like spaghetti? <laughs> Uh, I, I say I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I remember, Bye. I remember that before you. Yeah, we wanted to ask him again for the tape. Is that your Uncle Dan? <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Dan Dobler does yeah, not like spaghetti. Buddy. I like, like spaghetti. You like spaghetti, Dan? He's like, no. And then later on, I wanted to get him to say that again in the message to the future. <laughs> and he was not happy to have to repeat himself about it. <laughs> he said no. I uh, was like, sometimes I say, like, who doesn't like spaghetti? But I guess Dan. <laughs> okay, this I'm queuing it up for the new one. That was oh, yesterday. Oh All right, here we go. Now we're going to move this thing down. Whoa. Oh, no. oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Is there, spaghetti, is there spaghetti everywhere? Oh my god, spaghetti is everywhere. It's like, here's how we celebrate spaghetti week. Throw! We just throw the pot of spaghetti everywhere, and then we're, everything's rotten and weird after that. Yeah. That was some really good spaghetti. There we go, get the light. Why is it blinking? Is there power? Uh, Alright, I'm going to move this up to the middle, and then we're going to... Put the date on here. Oh, where is the date? I don't know. No, oh, oh, scrolling. Oh, scroll. There we go. Oh yeah, well, we could have made a custom. I uh, uh, we still could make a custom background tape for this week, real fast with the spaghetti. That's true. Yeah. We have a bunch yeah. of spaghetti. It'd Maybe be very we'll... easy to do. We should do that. At, but first thing before we uh, yeah rearrange everything. Yeah. Um, you gonna rearrange in here again? Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna re- do that. Do some rewiring. Hey, future, it's us the past. Hey, hi. We're here. It's spaghetti week. Uh, we talk about some mountain boarding and. We just chowed down. Okay. Now we're hanging out. They're back. Don't yeah. call me skateboard. Don't call me mountain bo- or long border or mountain border. It's butt border. Yep. Butt boarding. Uh, it's Monday. Bye, future. Get some spaghetti, future. Bye. Oh, you have anything you want to say to the future? Oh, yeah, what do you want to say to the future? Hey, future, show some love. Yeah, future, show lots of love. Bye. And keep the faith. Whoop. Perfect. Made it in there. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at the last, like, let's say three days. I've been looking at, like, I've been looking at, like, weeks, two weeks of these, but that's, that's too much when we have more time. Here, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Right above us. That's today. We're going to look at three days. 
That's yesterday. Yesterday. Well, I guess all of Spaghetti Week and one day, the last day of Death Week, right? Yeah, well, that was Sunday. This is Death Week still. Sunday? Uh, no, Saturday. Saturday. And then here's Friday. Saturday. Four days. Well, three different, three new days plus today. All right. What happened on Friday. Thursday? Friday? Hey, future, it's us, the past. Oh, hi, past. Hey, future. Is it so, uh... Raining? Mm. Kind of. Uh, it's trying to make Friday. up its mind out there right oh, now. Humor. Oh. Oh. Hey, uh, Andrew's uh, friend's a comedian, uh, he said. There's a new show out. There's a new show out, huh? Hey! Never know. Future, it's us in the past. Oh, hi, past. Hey, future. You ever get uh, a situation where someone pulls a gun on you? you ever no, been, have you ever hours? had a gun pulled on you? That was a question. Uh, no. I remember that. Yes. Cars too. Yeah. Okay, bye future. Yeah. Wow. You want to say it and you want to talk about it or because it seems scary? Yeah. Yeah, scary. Yeah. yeah we can talk uh, about it. Saturday, uh, Sunday. So this is yesterday. And we're uh, we're up here. Thing would be so spaghetti week. Spaghetti week is starting today. Yeah. Ooh, spaghetti. <laughs> uh, it was celebrate oh, spaghetti week. Spaghetti. I think I might have already started. For yeah, Spaghetti Week. It's like, what are we going to do for Spaghetti Week? Because Death Week, we yeah, can get all kind of spooky. Spaghetti Week, we just, it's like, it's very hey, specific. Hey, Future Tough the Path. Oh, hi. Hey. Yeah. Spaghetti Week. Yeah. If only I could go back in the past. And we just chat down. Yeah. yeah. Now we're hanging out. <laughs> don't call me skateboard, don't call me or longboard or mountain uh, board. It's butt border. What am I going to say? Butt border. Uh, it's Monday. Bye, Future. It's Bye. It's oh, you have anything you want to do in the future? Yeah. Hey, future, show some love. Yeah. Lots of love. Eat spaghetti. Oh, and keep it good spaghetti. for you, and it's good. All right. That, that, was, the, that was the past. It was the past couple of days. We should do P- uh, spaghetti-related PSAs. Like, like no, choke? If you love your mother, make some spaghetti like she used to make it, and give her a call. <laughs> Call her and tell her you made her spaghetti, and she'll be stoked. Good advice. What? What? This has been a PSA brought to you by the dudes on the couch. Who pulled a, a gun on you? Oh yeah. Okay, so, um, I was, I think like 18. Yeah. And my friends and I were like, oh, we're, we got a text about like going to like some like house like party thing. We're like, okay, we'll go. We didn't know anybody there, so we roll up. And there's like five of us, and we we go to the the place, and we walk in, and there's just a whole bunch of like like uh, just really ripped like gym rat looking kind of like oh. guys in there, and that was it. And they turn around, and they were like, "Who the heck are these people?" Oh. And we're like, "Uh." So we slowly back out, and we're like, "Okay, okay, everything's cool." Yeah. But it wasn't because we get out, and unfortunately, we had parked in a cul-de-sac. Uh-huh. And the whole party came out. Oh my god! And there was, we're, there was probably like thirty-five people blocking our car. Oh, and what? yeah, why and they were so angry? Because they didn't know who we were, and they wow. wanted us. They told us that we couldn't leave until we paid them what? money. They were like, "You have to pay us, or you're not getting through." And one guy ended up pulling out a gun. Oh, and we ended up. Um, luckily, my friend Brady just ended up flooring it and we ended up getting through Whoa. but they ended up chasing us and i remember we were going like 100 miles an hour down like just the regular road Whoa. trying to get away from these people did they hit you you hit them yeah we hit a couple people Whoa. what about uh did they shoot you at your car no we got super lucky they had it they like flashed it yeah. but they didn't they didn't do anything and i'm so happy they didn't but it was think, already so scary as it yeah, is it's so scary. that's what i was talking about with my brother the other day is that gun, I think people with guns are generally entering into more of a social contract than trying to actually threaten you with violence. Yeah. Until somebody else until somebody else has a gun. Oh, yeah. And, like, mostly they're just like, okay, hear it. Like, look, you could have an ID. This says, like, gun or whatever. <laughs> or, you know, or, like, capable, I'm capable of violence, okay? Like, give me the things. And it's like, okay, I guess that's how it is, right? Like, you have... Uh, but when you have... If you have a gun, then you're... In, then maybe it's, like, more violence, potentially. So, uh, I don't know. We're talking about concealed, it's like uh, concealed weapons. Then I think you just like, give them, 
it's the stuff, and you're like, oh, well, here, okay. But then, when then you're like, well, I have this, also have a gun. And then you're <laughs> in another social contract situation where you're like, well, what do we do now? <laughs> right? Yeah. It's a standoff. Yeah. It'd be like it Tombstone. Really any higher than that, like that pretty much just takes it, which is like, well, yeah. I'm escalating to the full extent. That's, yeah. like, that's, yep, that's it. Says. Here I am right away. You're like, you're like, stop, I have a gun. Give me the, and you're like, well, I also have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like how it is in Arizona. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to call Mr. Ginship, but the phones are struggling. Give me all your stuff. I have a gun. It's like, I also have a gun. Well, never mind then. <laughs> like, yeah. See you later. <laughs> Just let's shake and leave. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people who, like, open carry, though, are going to, like, rob you with that gun, you know? No, no. Yeah, no but you're going to try to get, you're going to get robbed, though. No way. Not if you're sitting there with a gun on your head. Oh, open, oh no. Open carry. If you're just yeah. open carrying. Is that, is that allowed? Yeah, it's legal in this state. Mm. It's I didn't scary. know if it was or not. What's is, scary yeah, about it? People, uh, I mean... I'm scared of when I see people with like big knives strapped to their belts or something. You know, it's just like it's like this instant. It's like not that they are going to do anything with it, but it's just like whoa, they could just stab me right now. All it says to me is like mind your business. Sure, that's all it says to me. If somebody's rolling around with a gun, it's like oh, cool, like whatever, you know. Yeah, just gonna I'm mind, not... just gonna mind my business like I would anyways. I wouldn't be too worried. Yeah, I don't but think I'm like. It's like scarier than like, not. Logically, yeah. Logically, I don't think I'm scared. It's just like when I see it, I'm just like, ooh, I forgot about that. There's just like <laughs> people carrying weapons all the time around. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I don't know uh, if I've seen that too much. I see it with knives a lot. Actually, yes, the other day, maybe it was yesterday, there, there was a guy who literally was just holding a knife mm. out like this, walking around. Oh, see, I've now seen that. that. That's, that's scary. That's yeah. not really cool. Like that, there's like rules against stuff like yeah. that, you know, because oh, that really? could be scaring people. Yeah, that's I mean, really if you're just scary. like like running around, like Especially waving yeah, shit around, you, you know. See somebody with like the gun in their hand. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's, that's really a lot that's like yeah. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, somebody gets because if somebody gets scared, uh, then you could get in trouble. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I seen people downtown. The guys like walking around with a kitchen knife or something. Yeah, that it was maybe the same guy. Yeah. I usually have a knife. I don't have it on me right now. But like when Walmart got robbed last year, that one dude, that preacher dude, just oh, yeah. hopped out and blew yeah. that dude away. Well, that there, was, there, oh like, man, dude, what? that dude, that that wild man, he, whoever it was, the guy, the the perpetrator. Oh man, because I live down in Tumwater. He was like running around down in Tumwater, and he pulled this girl over. And <gasps> like it was like it was like in one of the roundabouts in Tumwater, and he like like pointed the gun at this like 16 year old girl, this like oh. poor poor girl, and he shot in there and like. Like, like wounded her, like oh not, God. not, not life threatening, but like, like, like shot her and took her car and then drove over there and to like Walmart. Drove over to the freaking Walmart, oh like a couple God. of blocks away, and then just like kept doing stuff. I mean, you, you know, the news covered it pretty much from there. But like, dude, that was wow. man, wild. And then in the parking lot, the, like the guy went in and robbed it, and then like fired off, popped off some shots inside, and then was running out trying to make a getaway and carjack somebody else whoa and so the people who decided to stop him there was like a couple of a couple of other people with guns whoa. and uh and i guess they waited until he had he shot okay the guy shot and killed somebody who he carjacked no. uh he killed somebody there yeah that. unfortunately so and then then what happened was he was gunning the car at the guys who were trying to stand their ground you know and uh, once he gunned the car at him, that was like enough, wow. enough just cause yeah. to to, oh, yeah. to whatever. Totally. So yeah. so at the same time, is it like might spook some people that that some people are running around with weapons? It's like also kind of a good thing. Sure. Yeah. In my opinion, I, I don't run around with like I don't run around with guns, but maybe someday I will. Trust like good citizens, you know. As long as you have the proper training and stuff, I think that it should be okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mr. Ginsu has a gun. That's what he told me before. I'm going to try to call him again. Everybody should have one. I mean, it's your right, yeah. so why not? Um, oh, actually. Of course I don't, so that I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> right. I, don't, I don't take my own advice. It's hard to take your own advice. Yeah. Sometimes my advice is pretty good. Yeah, Other I'm always times. giving out advice. Yeah. I should take it more often. <laughs> it's easier to give it, though. Oh, yeah. It's easy to see. Like, it's like, oh, this should be different. 
<laughs> hard to do different. Maybe. It's really easy to be like, oh, you well, messed that up. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, the phones are not working super well today. I, I brought up some uh, like long cables. Ethernet. Ethernet cables. Maybe we can run them from downstairs. I don't know. Oh. Uh, no. Now I'm trying to call Grandma. Is it working? It's uh, struggling. You can see the, the little ring of death in the yeah, corner. That's ring, what ring, ring, ring. That's what I'm looking for. I'm just like, trying to hear what's it. it. What's it supposed to look like? It's just spinning around. It's just supposed to be gone. Oh. Uh, sometimes it's uh, sometimes. Oh. Eh. oh. This is Grandma I'm calling Grandma. Your Grandma? Yeah. Cool. Nice. Today is Monday. I think she'll probably be there. The phones work. They're struggling. Struggling phones. Ooh. If the phones work, it'd be funny if. Oh, this is Ty's phone. phone. On the other side, ring like that. You know, if you get bad connections, like. Evening. That's me on the message. You. What were you saying? Hi, <laughs> right, Grandma. You there? It's can't even call back. Okay, bye. I said hi. This is Ty's phone. Ty's my grandma. Oh yeah. You can. Leave a number and call back, something like that. You know, the regular message thing. What is our message still? Is this a beep? Oh, yeah, we should fix that, I guess, somehow. Yeah, it threw me. It was yeah. just a beep, and I was like, uh... Yeah, is it... Because it used to be, like, this really long thing. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Which yeah you had, like, the explanation of stuff in there or whatever. I like, I like so the long you, one. You like the long one? Yeah, I like it. Well, it wasn't too long, but if you're, if you're calling, like, often, though, maybe. Too long. Yeah, if you're calling off tonight, it could probably be too long. What? Gonna... And Mr. Ginsu! <laughs> People are here, they 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 know about you. We want to know about you. Yeah, what's going on? It's spaghetti week. Yeah. Are you speaking into the fucking microphone? <laughs> We're trying to, Mr. Ginsu, trying to. No. Talk. Are you fucking on the fucking... <laughs> what? There's some people who want to talk to you, Mr. Gensu. Can you hear us? Maybe speak huh? He's got, he's got... We're having some technical difficulties over here. He's having a hard time hearing us. Oh, yeah. This. Talk to Mr. Gensu. Mr. Gensu, when did you eat spaghetti last? Mr. Gensu, eat Did you say something? Spaghetti. Yeah. What time did you... When did you eat spaghetti last? He likes spaghetti. Last... Uh, Last night? Ooh, that was the yeah. first, that was the first day of Spaghetti Week. Oh yeah, way to celebrate Spaghetti Week, you know. Way to go. About it. Woohoo! I got a heartburn. Oh no, <laughs> from, from it? Well, see, I bought this fucking stuff and the column. Oh, column what, Mister Ginsu? Say that again. Tender rounds. Tender rounds. Uh huh. Like steaks. Well, you would have thought. Uh huh. Turns out it's for six bucks in a can. Who? Can beat. Uh huh. Can tender rounds. Yeah. I uh, open that motherfucker up. It looked like I just bought turds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it turns out it was ma it's made out of vegetables. Oh, oh God. Oh, no. How was it? It was, it was half ass. All right. Too, but it, it didn't give me heartburn. Did you eat, you ate it anyway? It's giving me heartburn just thinking about it. You did eat it? Yeah, I spent six dollars. Was it in the same spot as like other types of meat? So it was next to the meat section. Really? You'd think it would be like in some sort of. They usually well, keep all the vegetables. It stuff. was kind of. Those sneaky vegans. <laughs> what are you thinking about <laughs> eating canned meat in the first place, even though you didn't. You thought it was meat? Say what? Why would you be eating canned meat in the first place? Uh, 
Well, you know what spam is, right? Yeah, I like I like spam. I'll eat spam, I guess. That's it's not it's it's like a if it's a it's a square can. Well, well, this ain't vegetables. What are you fucking bitching at me about? Yeah. Uh, oh, because I thought potatoes, it was Mr. Gitsu. Yeah, I thought it was got it. I don't know why canned beef seems worse than uh, spam, but it just does in my mind. Lips and hooves. Well, you, you do know I went to freaking Walmart and bought me some hamburger, and it tasted like a cow's asshole and smelled like the fur of the cow. Yeah, you got some rotten food or something, right? Oh. Well, hey, the show's over, Mr. Ginsu. All right. Thanks for calling. Thanks for waking me up. Uh, <laughs> I gotta go to work now. Alright. Right. It's Monday. You want TCTV TV You're channel? You're awesome. At uh, 11.30 and 2 a.m. Check it out. Watch Jipman.com. 360 Call me a message. Get on TV. Life is cool. Uh, one night state number three. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah, Olympia. Yeah. Gotta go. Fun singer, it's a good song, thank you. TC TV, well, the baby. Really Jordy Fapples, Graham Graham, Sullivan by Con, Drum Book, Jeff Thurston, Kenny Washington, USA. Water. Thank you, and viewers, it's you, you're watching, thank you. That's you. Yeah. You're welcome. Hell yeah, dog. Oh, no. Hell yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.